Here we have some scleroderma species. So scleroderma uh, are kind of a mushroom, but they don't produce uh, a cap at, with gills or pores. Uh, they're like a puffball, so they're just a, a round mushroom with the spores entirely enclosed inside. Uh, unlike a puffball, um, scleroderma are quite hard and, uh, and solid, and so they just break open and release the spores of age. And so what I'll do is I'll, t I'll get one of these things and cut it open so you can see inside. You can see it's breaking off and it's got kind of whitish coloured uh, flesh and if we cut it it's quite firm and solid. And you can see inside it's got this beautiful uh, purpley black marbled colour. So this is all the spore mass inside and here's the, uh, the outer layer which is called the peridium. And what you might be able to see is that, oops, where I've kind of cut and bruised it, it's bruising yellow. Mm -hmm. And so often mushrooms will bruise in different colours and that's a, another key to their identification. So with age, these things will crack open and then these spores will just get, uh, just get released. And so here we have an example of a scleroderma. This is showing it's broken open, so the spores are just being released by it breaking over, open. And so this is different to a puffball, for example, where it will usually uh, split and say raindrops falling on it will puff the spores out. These are, are more passively dispersed.